Neyland Stadium, they are standing. We are set to get this 1994 version of Alabama and Tennessee underway. Alabama has won the toss. They have elected to receive. Gibson is back deep as Bexford. The senior out of Chattanooga gets a foot into it. And we're off and going. Marcel West breaks it at the 25. And Bexport will finally knock him out of bounds at the 36-yard line. It's to Williams. Nice open field tackle, but he's close to the first down at the 44-yard line. Jason Parker, the young man we were just talking about, came up to make the stick on him. They'll have the first down. Sherman Williams, the senior, will take it out across the 45 to the 48. A great point, and that's probably one of the reasons I brought up the thing about him running on that first down. Throws that one complete to Curtis Brown. So, in the short strike to the 45 yard line, it's going to bring up a second down and about three for Alabama. Tennessee shows blitz, and they come with it. And Williams gets to the outside. Inside the 40, pushed out of bounds near the 35 by Ronald Davis. Williams again, Lynch in front with the block. He gets a good one and he breaks it open inside the 20 and is going to be caught inside the 15 by Raymond Austin. Look at this, 18 times they've scored inside the 20. Ten touchdowns, eight field goals. Stevie goes to the left side. He'll be inside the five-yard line. And he knocks it home. So we'll hold it right here with 10 minutes and 18 seconds left in this opening quarter. It is Alabama, 3 to nothing, And Shade will play tonight, but he will not start in this ball game. Play action, slip screen to the corner. And a nice open field stop at the 29 as Billy Williams made the reception. The Crimson Tide is going to give the freshman a lot of different looks and deception tonight. Stewart to the left side. Turns it up. He'll have the first down as he crosses the 35. Jason Lehman said by the coaches to be probably playing better than anybody on that offensive front right now. He's number 66. Manning James the pass complete. Kendrick Jones across midfield and now here comes a late flag. His longest in warm-up today was 49 yards, Mike. Good snap. He's got the distance, but not the accuracy. Just wide right. Deal to punt it away to Sylvan. Not on his top off around the 15 yard line. He kicks it away from him. On the run, Sylvan will make the catch and pick up a couple of yards. Okay, Mike. We like your orchestra. <laughs> Pass gonna be intercepted by Tommy Johnson. A lot of looks like Alabama gave Miami and Gino Toretta in the Sugar Bowl a couple of years ago. And as long as they do not establish the run, they're going to get a bunch of looks. Wide open Chad Key, and he will catch it and go out of bounds at the 35. Deron Jenkins covering, but he was a couple of steps back. It is third down. Third down and 10. Actually about 11 for the Crimson Tide. Going to be sacked in the second time, and he really got sandwiched hard by White and Burton. Very good coverage kick. Tennessee will run away from it, and it gets right by the cover man at the six yard line. Three to nothing, Alabama. Hayden. He takes it out of her across the 25 to the 28, and Cedric Samuel in the safety spot will make the tackle. Stewart started, now Hayden in the ball game, the senior out of Detroit. But they go again with the fullback, and Mose Phillips runs over the first wave, and then will take it out for the first down to the 32. Yes, Mike, as we visited with him yesterday in the hall, Bubba said, no, that, that's up to Jeff now. He gets to do the calls. Hayden, big opening, he breaks it at the 45, reverses his field. at the 22 and a half yard line. And we have just 14 ticks left on that clock in this opening quarter. Second down the running play. Hayden, that is a nice job of a cutback. 
It is a third down, and they need the 13 yard line. Straight ahead with a running play, and they will have the first down. Hayden off the left side, and it's some fine blocking by Lehman, Mays, and Miller. Hayden will take it to the six. And all of a sudden, that offensive line and the running game, as a flag goes down, the key right now for the volunteers. Dead ball, first foul, right, half the Second and goal. Left side, still pumping, loses the football, and I believe, let's see, Alabama has recovered at the four. Deal is standing in the about a yard and a half at the base of the end zone. This is a very good coverage kick. Silver with a fair catch at the Tennessee 48. That's a 47 yard punt. Let's take a break. Play action by Manning. Manning, he's going to go on top. Double coverage and the ball tipped and intercepted. Tommy Johnson will come away with it. And he's trying to return it. Tarico, let's check back with you. That's exactly what Alabama wanted. They wanted to force the freshman to make mistakes. This is Williams, and you can see he crosses the orange stripe. He'll have the first down. Parker, nobody stayed at home, and he's going to run it. And didn't get to slide down quite as quickly that time as he will be out at the 37 by Ray Austin. Draw play. Lynch. And he is out at the 45-yard line for the first down for the Crimson Tide. Possession type receiver. Two Barkers looking for. Nope. Gets it to Todrick Malone. Todrick's going to be short of the first down. And I think this is a good decision by Gene Stalling. He got a struggling freshman quarterback. Put him in the hole. Very good coverage kick. And a bound at the one that goes into the end zone on a Tennessee roll. Brandon Stewart has excellent ability to run the football. And here he is right here with just that, Mike. And he'll take it out to the 44, first and 10 volunteers. Yards, James Littleman Stewart. And Jeff Smith, number 74, with a good clear out block. Well, Hayden's in the ball game now as they get a fresh tailback in. Pass is zipped over the middle, complete to Joey Kent. And that's another Tennessee first down. Well, Tennessee offensively in this ball game is already over 130 yards total offense. There's been a manhole cover like Mike Allen, the reporter, on, on this field. Stewart is going to fall down. Lost his balance, and he's going to wind up losing almost 10 yards in the play. About to go under four minutes left in the opening hand. Hayden on the play. The ball is delivered complete at the 25 to Kent. And first and goal, Tennessee at the seven. And we're tied. He has one timeout left. Huh? Drills it complete. Chad Key. Keep the game smaller, did it? No, they didn't. Here comes a pitch reverse. Marcel West. And the speed of the Tennessee defense. Ronald Davis, one of those getting outside to make the hit. Sullivan. Another very good coverage kick. This is extremely high to the eight yard line Sylvan and it's a 46 yard boot Brandon Stewart goes down on one knee Brandon Stewart down the ball at the end of the second quarter and his head coach says that's exactly what I wanted let's go to the locker room we're not trailing we're not leading but we are tied so that is the end of the first half with our score Alabama three and Tennessee three
Now let's check in with Mike Tirico for this halftime report. William Watts, the wild thing they call him, will kick it off for the Crimson Tide. And this one is a low liner. And it's going to well, going to be picked up at the seven yard line by Billy Williams and Billy will not make it back to the 15. So Tom Hutton the left footer senior from Memphis kicking to Tommy Johnson. Also Brad Ford has joined him back deep. Johnson. Good coverage in the special teams as he gets sandwiched. A little bigger than some realize at 6 4. Speaking of bigger than you realize, Sherman Williams spins off two tacklers and will have the Alabama first down at the 41. It is third down. Alabama one of seven on third down conversions. Steger left side and with the second effort he is going to have the first down as he spins his way inside the 30. They take the counter play. Barker got him wide open at the 15-yard line. At the 10, Marcel West will break out of the tackle and he'll score. But uh, he split the tacklers and took it in for the six points as Watts will kick it off for Alabama. And this is going to come up to Billy Williams at the five. Williams breaks it open. The way out to the 45 yard line. 10 to 3, our score. Alabama leads. Early third quarter. And he dumps it off in the flat. This is Aaron Hayden. Inside the 15. It off. Hayden, he will have the first down. He does not get into the end zone, but that'll move the sticks. Touchdown, Tennessee. Hey, seeing him come out at halftime, he was galloping. You were reaching for your pocket. You wanted to put a bet on him. Two yards deep, and they're going to bring it out after the hesitation, and what a mistake. Riddle caught it two yards deep, hesitated, and now the crowd is really taken over. I think he's howling right now because of this noise. Third down. Williams on the delay, and he is going to have the first. Nope, not going to have it. They're going to say knee is down, shy of the 15-yard line. have got the return on. Good coverage kick again by Deal. Sylvan from the 36. Spins off one very hard tackle and he'll take it to the 45. You see uh, Tommy Johnson. He's back there with Brad Ford. Great kick. Wow. Hutton sends him all the way back to the nine-yard line. Ford will try to return it and the coverage by Tennessee is magnificent. He fumbled, the, he fumbled the ball, Ron, but they're going to call it dead. Stand by. We will uh, about to go to Mr. Tirico to get another update. Had the pressure on, but uh, boy, what a fine job by Deal again. This is Sylvan from the 40. Up the far side, gets by the corner man, and he'll take it down to the 40. Now again, the punt out should punt Alabama in the hole again, hopefully hoping for a turnover. is going to have this one hit at the 10-yard line and they'll down it at the 8. Sherman Williams turns the corner, steps out of bounds, and they're going to say he got the first down, a pickup of 12 and stopped the clock with 14. Again, he reverses out this time. They stay at home and the ball is delivered complete to Lynn. Oh my goodness, what a play by Jay Barker. It's been back in 1985, the last time Tennessee defeated the Crimson Tide. Last year was a tie. Here's a drop play to Williams. Bounces off one tackler, gets to the outside, has 5, 10, 15, and counted off. They're going to see a gain of 17 on the play. Dead ball after the man is out of bounds. Personal foul, defense, 15, first down.
Williams outside and the right. Cuts it back inside. And he is close to another first down. In fact, he is going to have it. Stinger knocked backwards. Leland Taylor. Lost his footing. Well short. Outside and the right. He will have the Tennessee first down. Samuel holding on to him for dear life. Mose Phillips, good block on that play. Not bad for a backup. Uh, that's awfully good. One two punch. Play action and the slip screen to Billy Williams. Gets a block. And what a quick return by Ralph Staten. Oh my goodness, did he recover well. Rico, I'd love to see the numbers on that one right there as far as total rushing yards because both are just deadly against the rush. Straight ahead Manning, and that's going to be enough for the first down, it would appear. We'll take a look at the play here, Jerry. Hayden, 5, 10. Oh, he's still dancing. 15 and 20, and he'll take it all the way down to the 21-yard line. Because that put him well over 100 yards. They'll run him again. Gets outside on the left. Inside the 10. It is a first and goal, Tennessee. Good pass, and he knocks it home. So let's take a break. The Volunteers go on top 13 to 10. Barker reverses out. Throws it complete, and he'll step out of bounds at the 29. Curtis Brown, nicely executed by the Crimson Tide. Well, Mike, you remember uh, last year, Barker with a lot less time than this. Engineered a drive that ignited the Crimson Tide to bring it to a tie. Williams, and he's going to be racked hard at the line of scrimmage. It's Tyrone Hines, number 47. First three football games. German Williams, can he get outside? Working his way, cuts it back inside. Boy, Mike, you are exactly right as he gets the first down. Whoop, they left him open, then he throws the pass complete. That's Curtis Brown with the first down, and now here comes a late flag in. We have an incidental five-yard face mask defense. He added on to the end of the run. Williams in the middle, hurdles the tackler, and he'll have the Crimson Tide first down. Option play to the open side. It's Lynch. Turns the corner. Inside the 10, bumped out of bounds. It is first and goal. Crimson Tide. Williams turns the corner. Touchdown, Alabama. to Joey King. Brandon Stewart watches anxiously from the sideline, hoping that his teammate can get five here. Lobs it, has it complete. That's Joey Kent across midfield. It is first and ten, Tennessee. Complete at the 31 yard line. That's enough for the volunteer first down. Joey Kent again working on Samuel. Fifth catch for 92 yards. Drop play. Here comes Hayden. Trying to get to the sideline, and he goes out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. And all of a sudden, the third Saturday in October comes back to the script that you always expect. Drills it. Tip. Oh, my goodness. And went right by his hands. And I think it was Michael Rogers who got just enough of a deflection. It's come down to this. Fourth down. Movement by Alabama. So it's a free play. Pass is intercepted at the two-yard line. But I believe, I believe they will gain a reprieve with the offside. 
Kelvin Moore, number 95. Defensive team, offside, five yards, replay the down. Here comes the pressure, pass is thrown, incomplete. Sylvan is the man he wanted at the four-yard line, and it was Gaston on the cover. Crimson Tide players coming on the field. And Gene Stallings goes across to shake hands. His ball club still undefeated. Tennessee goes to three and four. Mike, it was a game that we talked about. When you get in a rivalry game like this, sometimes you play it real close to the best, and that was the way both teams played it tonight. Alabama gets the edge. So our final score, Alabama 17, Tennessee 13. For Mike Gottfried, Mike Adamley, and our entire outstanding ESPN crew, Ron Franklin saying so long, everybody, from Neyland Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee, and let's throw it to Mike Tirico.